Five quick pieces of AI news from the weekend. I hope you have your coffee because the first one uses the phrase homomorphic encryption. And if you're wondering, what is that? The basic idea is you can put something into what's called ciphertext or an encrypted strings, and it retains computationally the same structure as the original uh, piece of data, which means you can do math on it, which is important because machine learning is basically math. And so the example that Apple gave was basically, what if you take a picture of something and you want to find out what that something is, which is a very classic thing that you ask uh, OpenAI. I, I actually asked OpenAI what was in an image just this weekend. Um, well, let's say you ask Apple Intelligence that instead. Let's say you're on your phone and you ask Apple Intelligence, what's in this image? And you send the image or Apple sends the image encrypted in homomorphic encryption to its servers to find out. So the actual image is unencrypted, doesn't leave your phone. You're, you're, the, the image is secure on your phone and the homomorphic encryption is the only thing that departs. At that point, Apple then does computations on it to find other homomorphically similar images. What's weird is I can say things like, they do math on it because it's the same shape as the data. But what that means in practice is it can tell if you're looking at the Eiffel Tower. So if you're looking at the Eiffel Tower and you say, what is this image? Apple can come back because of homomorphic encryption and say, that's the Eiffel Tower based on other computationally similar images in the database, all of which remain encrypted. It's weird. It works. I can't quite explain how it works either. It it seems odd to me that it should work that way, but homomorphic encryption is very cool. We'll have to do a separate video on it. Okay, piece of news number two, a ton of discussion over the weekend on Orion. Orion is the code name or the rumored code name for OpenAI's new model. The Verge did a major report claiming that it was going to be 100 times more powerful and it was gonna debut in November which matches the rumored timeline of a lot of other advanced models is end of year. And they were saying specifically, it's so powerful, it's going to companies first. We're not sure when it's going to be released to individuals. And then immediately OpenAI pushed back, still over the weekend, and said, no, 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 no. We are not releasing a model called Orion in November. Now, that leaves them a lot of wiggle room. They could be releasing a different model. They could be releasing a differently named model, or they could be choosing to release it in December. Nobody's clarifying. We don't know. So stay tuned. But I would still expect OpenAI to release something in December, if only because you were seeing other releases come along. And that brings me to piece of news number three, which is that Google is preparing a major Gemini release in December. Rumor also broke over the weekend and will include the proposal or the uh, enabling APIs or whatever you want to put it. It's very unclear. It's, very, it's another sort of on the edge of news and rumor. Uh, they will include an enablement for a Google AI agent driven by Gemini. That's the TLDR. I noticed that this particular piece of news dropped after the OpenAI Verge article. And I do wonder how much we are at this point in a news and rumor cycle where everyone wants to tell you that their, that their particular model is gonna be ready right at the right time. And it's gonna be super powerful. I still think we're gonna get a big model release before the end of the year. I think it will probably be somewhere in the December one to 15 timeframe. We will see. Okay. Uh, the next piece of news is Coinbase. Coinbase is also getting into the mix, but they, of course, don't have a major LLM uh, model that they're going to be building on. Instead, what they're going to be doing is just putting AI agents autonomously on the blockchain. And that's been their goal, uh, or so they say. And so they are putting out a press release saying that that's what they're doing. We'll see when something actually comes out. And when when they release that, I just keep noticing they are releasing that after the AI meme coin news broke over the last three or four weeks. So you remember I talked about the AI meme coins. I talked about Gotius Maximus. There's been other AI meme coins. This is the moment when Coinbase is like, ah, yes, we're going to do autonomous AI agents on blockchain. 
We will see. Sounds like it needs some governance to me. Okay. Almost last, second to last, but not least. Uh, so piece of news number five, uh, NVIDIA is getting exported to Russia via an Indian pharmaceutical com company that seems to be a cover-up called Shreya. And the reason this is news is because the H100 chips, which are not actually the cutting edge chips now, they're like one generation back, are not allowed to be exported to certain countries, and that includes Russia. And Russia is figuring out how to import them anyway, uh, apparently at scale. Like they've imported 1,100 or so Dell servers with H100 chips uh, under cover of this pharmaceutical company in India. And they're doing it uh, presumably to set up their own uh, AI modeling data centers. We will see. Finally, uh, there was a major report on the gender gap in AI. On average, it found over uh, multiple studies. Uh, and I looked at the chart, like it really was like 20 different studies on AI usage. 25% less usage of AI by women versus men. And this was not just U.S. tech workers. In fact, U.S. tech workers, if you're wondering, were, was the only surveyed demographic where women used AI more than men, uh, although it was virtually identical. So that's sort of a nominal difference. Um, but U.S. tech workers use AI. Apparently, two thirds of us use AI all the time. Um, but the gender gap is something that did persist uh, across just about every other demographic that, that I was looking at. And I looked into the paper a little bit. Super interesting. No one can really explain why. Uh, and it's something that so, since AI usage is correlated with AI fluency, it's concerning. It's, it's well, it's concerning regardless. So there you go. That's the last piece of AI news. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had coffee. I hope you can pronounce homomorphic encryption.